All right, thank you, Jeff. Uh, now back to the news that's difficult for us to even wrap our minds around. All of this chaos that you see on your screen right now playing out in Ybor City over the weekend. You had gunfire, panic, blood, bodies on the ground. Two people were killed, 16 others injured. And tonight there are calls for change in Ybor City following that mass shooting. The area has a checkered past when it comes to gun violence. News Channel 8's Melissa Marino is live along 7th Avenue with more on the growing concerns there tonight. Melissa. Well, good evening. Uh, tough to tell right now, but I'm standing in the area where this all went down. But you can see it's back to business as usual out here. These businesses are open. People are out here walking around. But talking to folks out here, a lot are saying that something needs to change to prevent something like this from happening again. Oh, oh. A night of Halloween celebrations turning into chaos in Ybor City. Police say a fight between two groups of people turned into a barrage of gunfire, leaving two people dead and 16 others injured. First of all, I was horrified. Um, secondly, not surprised. Former Tampa Mayor Bob Buckhorn says he tried to address gun violence in Ybor City for years. After this latest tragedy, he says it's time to get rid of certain nightclubs he believes attract criminal activity. It's a problem. It's been a problem for a while. Um, and it needs to stop. I mean, either Ebor self-corrects or the government comes in and does something about the bad clubs um, and the bad actors. Mayor Jane Castor responding, saying Ebor City is safe. A lot of the uh, business owners have stepped forward to do what they can to make Ebor safer. Uh, it is just these particular incidents. Uh, if anything, those those places are probably some of the safest places you could be because they spend the kind of money that they spend on the extra security, extra actual off-duty law enforcement. DJ Barry Carew works in Ybor City and says the clubs aren't the issue. He wrote a letter to the city today expressing his frustrations. He believes the real issue is crowds of people being allowed to loiter outside even after the bars close. They can't have people out there just loitering. They can't have people out there just standing on the streets. Uh, you got to take the Austin, Texas approach, the Nashville approach, the New Orleans approach, where people got to keep it moving. Now, on the weekends, the clubs here, they do stay open until 3 a.m. Some of the pizza shops also stay open until 3 a.m. as well. So, as you can imagine, that keeps crowds out here pretty late. Reporting live in Ybor City, I'm Melissa Marino, 8 on your side.